Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to learn how to create this seamless roadmap slide using push transition. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. Open PowerPoint, add a blank slide, and remove the text placeholder. In the Insert tab, click on Pictures and select from this device. Then pick your desired background and insert it. Adjust its position on the slide as per your liking. In the Picture Format tab above, click the Format Picture Launcher button. This will open the Format Picture pane on the right. Here, click on the picture icon and change picture transparency to 80%. Let's add the road graphic from your device. You want to pick one that starts and ends at the same height to create a continuous flow. Select the first slide's thumbnail on the left and using Ctrl D duplicate it twice till you're left with a total of three identical slides with roads on them. Adjust its position like so to fill the entire slide. Now for the fun part. Select all three slides by holding shift and go to the Transitions tab. Here, select the push transition. In Effect Options, change the direction to from right. Increase the duration of the effect to two seconds. Align the start of the road on each slide to seamlessly connect to the end of the one before them. You can use the Y-axis ruler to get an idea of the height position of each end. Now, preview your slideshow to make sure each slide fits perfectly. Let's duplicate the first slide to create a title slide. Change the transparency of the background to 88%. Change the transparency of the road to 80%. Adjust the road's position to align with the second slide. Let's add in our title now. Go to the Insert tab and select Text Box. Enter your title here. And align it to the center. We're going with the Lemon Milk Medium font. Increase the font size to 80. Format it as you'd like. Align the text box to the center of the slide. Select the background image, and in the Format Picture pane, remove its transparency by changing it to 0%. Select your title text, and in the Format Shape pane, click on Text Options. Here, under Text Fill, pick Gradient Fill. Choose this direction and change the angle to 180 degrees. Select the first gradient stop, and in Color, use the eyedropper tool to pick a color from the background image. Add in more gradient stops and repeat the steps until you have a text gradient that matches your background. Change the background image's transparency back to 88%. Now let's add in our roadmap points. On the select slide, go to the insert tab and add in a teardrop shape. You can also use an icon if you'd like. Rotate it and stretch the yellow dot like so. Notice how it resembles a location marker now. Let's adjust the shape and add in a circle in the middle of the teardrop. Selecting both shapes, align them to the middle and center. Remove the shape outline for both shapes and give them any color you'd like. Duplicate the circle and make the copy smaller while holding shift to maintain its ratio. Place the copy in the center of the bigger circle. 
Change the copy shape to white. Select the teardrop and paint it a shade lighter than the bigger circle. Select all shapes and use Ctrl G to group them. Select the group shape and open the Format Shape Panes Effects menu to give it a shadow. Select the outer shadow preset. Now that you've created your pointer, simply duplicate it as many times as you'd like. Replicate the shadow effect on all the pointers you create to make them pop out of the slide. You can also change the color of the pointers to match your theme. Select all your pointers and copy them using Ctrl C. Then paste them on the third and a fourth slide. Adjust the pointers positions and colors as you'd like. Back on the second slide, add in a text box next to your pointer. This will hold the heading and body text of the point. Bold the heading using Ctrl B while selecting it to make it stand out. Align the text to make it visually appealing. Repeat these steps for each slide's pointers. And that's it. Your slideshow is ready to go. Let's preview it to see the push transition magic in action. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. You hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.